What's up, Wayne Baron here with ArtEffects.net, and we are inside of 3D Studio Max as well as Adobe After Effects CC. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to connect uh, your 3D Studio Max with your um, your Adobe After Effects. Okay, what we want to do? Let's go ahead and open up our drive with our Autodesk. So yours is going to be different than mine. Most likely, you're going to have it inside of your C drive. So you go to Autodesk 3D Max Design 2013, and now we want to go inside of External Plugins and CS4, CS5. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose CS5, Windows, and these three files right here. So what we want to do next is open up another window, go inside of Adobe CC After Effects Support Files. Now these two files right here we want to drag and drop these two files directly inside of our support files folder. So basically just drag and drop them and I am not going to overwrite so we're going to don't move and don't move. And then we're going to come inside of our plugins folder and we're going to name a folder AEGP. And then once we get finished naming that folder AEGP we're going to move this file over here into the AEGP. Once you do that, you will be able to go to File and Open. Whoops, Open Compositor Link Autodesk. What we got here is that we've got uh, our house, and this is in a previous lesson, which you can find right here. And what we're going to do is that we're going to create a compositor link between 3D Studio Max and After Effects. So. First thing we want to do is that we want to come over here to Renderer, come down to State Sets. Okay, and once State Sets open up, this is basically what you're showing. But we want to see more of everything. So let's come over here to the Compositor. We want to come over to our Compositor View. It's right here. It's going to show us everything that is within our scene. Okay, and now we want to come over here to Compositor and go to Compositor Link. This right here is the link to our file. And so then we come over here to state and render outputs. Now this is very important. If you do not render your output, if you do not have it to a proper place, then it's not going to work inside of After Effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose Browse. We're going to come over to, let's get all the way up here. We want to come over here to Projects, Projects, uh, Adobe After Effects, 3ds Max. And this is our lesson. Click OK, and now you want to click on Set Path. Okay, so what this is going to do is that right here, our state name, this is our states right here. So our state name, every single time that we go to render out, it is going to render out each one of our states. So if we create multiple states, then it is going to create mo multiple state name outputs. And it's going to go into the area that we have set the path for. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to come over here. Now, how you do, or what exactly a state set is, is that you can come over here and you can change different things. Let's go ahead and drop that down so we can have a smaller window. So we're going to come right here, and uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to change the state of how everything looks. Okay, so this right here is our house. This is our side view. Side, or actually this would be our front view. Front view. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we want to create multiple views of our house. So let's go ahead and uh, we want to duplicate this one. We're going to clone it. And this one right here, we're going to do this as a side view. So let's come over here and let's select our house got to click on the record button. Now anything that we do is going to be recorded. Now hold down Alt and hold down your scroll wheel and then we're going to move over here to the side. We want to put it about right up in there. Now we're going to uncheck our record button. So now whenever we click on the arrow over here, it's going to go back to our original state. Now we click over here, that's going to be our next state. Okay, so that is our two states. Now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to create a compositor link. So we click here and then we're going to come over here to lesson. We're going to name this house. Okay, so that's going to create a compositor link of house.sof. That right there is the link that we use inside of After Effects. 
So, now the next thing we want to do is we want to come over here to After Effects. Let's bring it over here. Come over here to File. Come over here to Open Compositor Link Autodesk. Click on this. Move this over. Now we want to create a link. So we click on there and then we come over here to Lesson. Click on House. It's going to give us this error right here. It says error. Internal verification failure. Sorry. And so basically what this is saying is that, well, I cannot find the information that is supposed to be obtained within this file. And so therefore, click OK. Click Continue. Click on Reset File. Now what we want to do, let's go ahead and close out of that. Move our window back over. And what that is is that we have not rendered out these. So we're going to select our side view and our front view. Right click and choose Render Selected States. This right here is going to render these selected states. Uh, lesson state. Let's choose confirm overwriting. No, why is it wanting to overwrite? It's not supposed to overwrite. We got our side view. We can come back over here to our rendered output, and it's supposed to rename each one. Let's go ahead and set path again. Now let's try this one more time. Let's go inside of Projects, Projects, Adobe, After Effects, 3ds Max, Lessons. Let's go ahead and delete out that one. Let's bring this over. Now let's right click on this and now render selected states. And there it goes. Uh, rendered out perfectly. And so there we go. We've got our side and we've got our front view of our selected state. So I'm going to close out of that. And now let's bring After Effects back over. Oops. Click on File, Open Compositor Link, Create Link. Now inside of our Lessons folder, open up the house. Internal Verification Failure once more. Click on OK, Continue, and Reset Link. Okay, let's come over here and let's update link. That's right, we had not update the link. Whenever you um, mess with anything, you must update your link. So let's go ahead and update our link. Let's come back over here inside of After Effects, File, Open Compositor Link, Create Link, choose our house, and there we go. So now we can just easily simply click on that, and now we have both of our houses. So that is how you bring in your 3D Studio Max. Like I said, if you do anything, do any modifications, you must update your link. And then whatever you do inside of Autodesk, uh, 3D Studio Max, once you update and then you come over here and you update the link here, then it will automatically pick up on everything that you do. So if we come over here inside of 3DS Max, and let's say that we was to uh, come over here and this is our side view, choose record, and then we right click and we hide selection. And then we stop recording, we update our link, and then we right click and then we render selected state. And then we choose yes because this is our side view. We choose yes to that. That's just going to render out that one. And then we close out of that. We update link again. And then we, whoops, let's open it up. We open up After Effects and we update the link from there. And then there we go. We can see that it automatically gets rid of our roof. So anything that we do within 3ds Max is going to automatically update within After Effects. All right, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net inside of 3D Studio Max working beautifully with Adobe After Effects. All right, y'all have a good one. Oh, yeah, by the way, since you can go all the way back to CS4, this will work with CS4, CS5, CS6, and with CC. I'd like to also point out that we have started a new YouTube channel, and uh, this is it right here. It is DE Spotlight. And what DE Spotlight is, is that we are doing spotlights on other people's videos. And so right now we have... Uh, we only have two spotlights. As you can see right here in our regular YouTube account, which is the one that we're doing this video for, we have spotlight number one and number two. We also have these two videos as well on our uh, spotlight here 
within Spotlight on Dark Effects. So uh, please jump on over and subscribe to our new Spotlight on Dark Effects. Every Spotlight that we do from here on out, uh, at least for the next couple of months, is going to be uploaded to both channels at the same time. That way people that are not subscribed to our Spotlight on Dark Effects will also be able to watch it until everybody transitions over to the new Spotlight. So this channel right here is strictly for lessons and then spotlight is going to be for all of the spotlights on other people's lessons all right y'all have a rocking i reckon what is the day today's monday ain't it all right y'all have a rocking week now have a good one now bye bye